Thank you very much. Sri K.C. Venugopal. Thank you, Chairman, sir, for giving me an opportunity to discuss about the so-called white paper presented in this August House. Basically, madam, this is not the white paper. The white paper which totally hide on the dark truth of your economic situation in this country. We, every individual, anyway, will be related to economy. When we are when we are buying some commodities in the market, it relates to our economy. When we are using the car, when we use the petrol, it related to the economy. When a person taking a bank loan, to giving that interest of the bank loan, he will be related to economy. Every walk of life, the people will be related to economy. Therefore, it is very much important to discuss about the economy of this country. But when we, you are introducing a white paper about I don't know what is UPA period 2004 to 14 or 14 to 24. The word you used, first it seeks apprise the honorable members of courting the objective of the white paper, white paper itself. First it seeks to apprise the honorable members of the parliament and people of India of the nature and extent of governance, economic and physical crisis, what were recorded on this government when it assumed office in 2014. In 2014, particularly 2014, what was the physical situation in that point of time? The GDP growth was the highest on 2014 that day, that year. You are telling it was very shocking for you. I don't understand that at all. Basically, the average GDP growth of UPA era and NDA era, you talk. UPA is more, more than 0.75% 6, and now it is on 5%. Now it be like that. But basically, when you are producing a white paper about your period also, two, three major issues should have reflected in that, which is totally lacking. One is basically the demonetization, the so-called demonetization. I searched throughout the white paper. There is not a single word about demonetization. Why is it? Why is it? Eh? I'm just now I'm remembering the speech our Honorable Prime Minister was given in Goa immediately after the demonetization. Entire black money of the country is going to be taken back. And fake currency, entire fake currency which is circulating in the economic system is going to be taken back. Why don't you mention about that statistics? Yeah. How much black money you take back? Yeah. Ah, entire terrorism will be over. There was that statics, at least uh, when you are introducing a white paper, we need that about the demo. Basically, our Honorable Prime Minister, our then Prime Minister, 2004 to 14, Dr. Manmohan Singh called about it. It is a legalized loot and organized plunder. Yes. Certainly, it is proved. He told. He predicted there will be an impact of 2% on GDP. It was actually happened. There was the, the, the impact on demonetization. You, you could have mentioned it in white paper. It's the entire MSME sector. What is the situation of the MSME sector now? Small and medium sector totally destroyed. Finished. That is why unemployment is in the peak rate. Because of major unemployment is given by MSME only. That sector is already vanished. Then, number two, I also searched whether the white paper is giving any information about the unemployment rate. What about the situation of the unemployment? Actually, when Manmohan Singh completed eight years in April 2012, that point of time, unemployment rate of the country is 5.6 percentage, sir. 5.6 percentage. Comparison, now after completing eight years of Narendra Modi in 2012, 22, the entire data is not uh, is revealing. 
now we, right, we have right of information act but nothing is coming out now our information is coming out but we have an information that in 2022 unemployment rate is about 8 percentage from 5.6 to 8 percentage which is which is less sir why don't you talk about the unemployment in this country in this white paper entire youth of this country is eagerly waiting for that only when they are going to get employment why this situation of the youth now there is no answer for this if there is an answer nothing then any poverty poverty any information about the poverty when upa was in power we brought down 29 27 percentage of the people below poverty you have you have taken out of that 23 percentage to above property or poverty now global ratings we have yesterday i think tirichi shiva already quoted that our position in the global our hunger index he quoted about we are in 111 position 111 there, there is no mention about uh, poverty sir i think about uh, when manmohan singh ji was in power <coughs> our honorable then vira chief minister himself told our rupees are in ventilator the devalue of rupees yes manmohan singh ji period also the global economic crisis was there rupee has been devalued around 22% percent one point out now the devalue is around 32 percentage where is it rupees now madam that point out which was in ventilator now where is it in rupees <laughs> yeah nothing is there then here not many talks of sir unfortunate uh, talk happened because of the bharat ratna things choudhary charan singh the star stalwart of this country was the stalwart of this country narasimha rao was a prime minister of the country that period our economy was in a great danger when he took over as a prime minister he made drastic changes through manmohan singh ji as a prime minister of course i am coming from i elected from alappi where dr m s swaminathan born in mangombu the great warrior of this country actually we totally completely agree with the point that the swaminathan ji where we are now in the food, food food security situation we have to remember swaminathan ji who have given maximum opportunity to swaminathan ji sir indian council of agriculture research chairman who made him who made him nominated member of this august house not only he is deserved it it is not a mercy to him he deserved it he deserved more than it then patma vibhushan because he is that type of person i am very we are very happy that giving bharat ratna to all these people we are not taking stain choudhary charan singh who made choudhary charan singh as the prime minister there was there no, no don't dispute when you only choose this for political purpose congress never use this name for political purpose that is the only difference <laughs> you will this you will use bharat ratna for our so election. election why otherwise why don't you last year 10 years why you have lost 10 years why the last that also extended day you are discussing actually our session was concluded yesterday so okay 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 i am not i am not going to that point therefore that actually my point i am again coming this is this white paper is the paper which hiding dark truth you are now now you are talking about the oh, sir, sir i heard about the our honorable prime minister speech in this house one and a half hour he spoke i am very much glad that out of that one and a half hour maximum time he used to attack congress party he talked about the modi guarantee i saw his speeches in kerala also modi's guarantee sir i'm very happy that you are using the word guarantee when we use the word guarantee in karnataka you people thought that there is no meaning of guarantees in this world 
Pralaj Joshi is there. <laughs> when we use in guarantee in Karnataka, what 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 was the what was what was the what was the common reaction? But oh, now now guarantee is approved. Now guarantee is approved. Everywhere Modi is telling Modi is guarantees. Okay. Therefore, but therefore, my simple question, sir, when we are giving new guarantee, sir, my simple question is only that, sir, when we are giving new guarantee, we have to think about the guarantee which are given by your prime minister to the country. That is what, <laughs> sir, <laughs> two crore <coughs> job per year. The guarantee given by honorable prime minister, ten years over. How many jobs you are given? Bringing back black money. Starts abroad in hundred days, and one within hundred days, I will bring back the black money. What what happened? Number rupees fifteen lakh to every citizen in his bank account. <laughs> what is happened? Farmers farmers income will double day. What is happened? Achieve US dollar five trillion economy by twenty three twenty four. What happened? 100 smart city by 2022. When you are talking about the guarantees in future, at least do a postmortem of what happened to which guarantee you have given to the country. Nothing is served. Sir, my point is this that the most important thing of a person, which is the which is the most important in one of the things, sir. Sir. Live happily and healthily. Live happily and healthy as far as possible, as long as possible. Sir, I went through the status of life expectancy in our country now. Actually, the World Bank data is that. Tell me, I am clean, I am 70. <laughs> exactly, sir. <laughs> sir, a child born when Vajpayee was the Prime Minister. Could expect a life to 64 years when Vajpayee was prime minister. A child born when Manmohan Singh ji was the prime minister can expect a, a life of 67 years, 60, 69 years, increase of five years. But now, what is the status? But a child born when Narendra Modi ji prime minister can expect live only 67 years, two years below. Manmohan Singh, it, there is a reason, sir. There is a where reason. Do, where do you get it from? The World Bank. Yeah, well. This is a, because health expenditure did not increase in the 10-year period. What is the reason? In our government, 1.7 is the total percentage of expenditure when UPA was in power. 1.7 percentage to the health department. We are in same situation. Now also 1 point, so after 10 years or so, we are spending 1.7 percentage only for health. After this COVID happened, maximum health issues happened in this country. There is no increase in the health budget. That is why the life is coming down, period of life. Sir. Education. When UPA was in power, 2.2 percent was in 2004. When UPA came into power, that point that time, 2.2 percent is the expenditure rate. But UPA increased drastically, more than doubled, 4.6 percent in 2014, when it is out of power. What this government has done? This government slashed it down to. 2.9 percentage from 4.6 percentage of 2014. Now it is 2.9 percentage. You are talking about Bhati Bachao, Bhati Padao. What is that? Now the now the now now the female literacy. You can take the statistics also. When UPA was in power, 1.3 percentage female increases. Now it is 0.6 percentage increase. Female literacy, I'm talking about. You can verify. Sir, major impact. 
Manmohan Singh government had spent 16 percentage for subsidies for poor people. This government cut the subsidy for the poor people from 16 to 9 percentage, sir. Sir, that is why India gained 9.4 percentage points in Human Development Index during UPA period. Now it has become 0 0.4 percentage, a very, <coughs> very low number. <coughs> sir, these all things is leading to a clear fact that UPA period, we have done a much big, better job to managing the deficits. The Modi government boasting is there very much. PR work is there very much. Every day they are giving maximum advertisement by using public exchequer. But propaganda mechanism is there. Decoration words will be there. But you have to understand the country's financial situation is very bad due to bad financial management. The, I am talking about the poor people's situation, living condition. The poorer become poorer, richer are become richer. The gap between poor and big rich is increasing. You are only interested to corporate world. Sir, Madam, you are annexed to in the white paper boast that India's average per capita GDP has grown roughly from 4,000 US dollar to 6,000 US dollar. You are using that word, very cleverly you are using the word, average per capita GDP. But per capita GDP will increase, sir, certainly in a developing country like India. But uncertain truth is there, sir. Annual average per capita GDP growth fell from 5.9% during Manmohan Singh tenure to 3.8% in Modi's tenure. In other words, the average Indian's income, average Indian people's income grew much faster when Manmohan Singh was Prime Minister than Modi's tenure. This is a clear fact. You are hiding that fact. You are using the, you are using the word only for your purpose. Foreign investment. There is a big boost for foreign investment also in the white paper. What is the real situation? The fact is that net foreign investment was 1.2% of GDP versus 0.8% NDA. UPA is 1.2 percentage, your period is 0.8 percentage. Foreign reserves nearly tripled and exports were 17 percentage of GDP when UPA was in power against 14 percentage of NDA. Simply put, this, sir, foreign investors and consumers gushed over India's economy and products far more during the tenure of the silent and estimable Manmohan Singh Ji than during the loud and bombastic Narendra Modi Ji's period. You use the words, decorative words, but Manmohan Singh Ji do it silently. That period was the golden period for private investment. That is what the situation is showing. Sir, manufacturers are so more confident in that period. That I showing that, sir. Not just private corporators, but even farmers didn't show confidence in Modi's tenure, sir. We are talking about the big things for farmers. Growth in fruit grain production fell from 34 percentage in UPA to 31 percentage to in your period. 34 to 31. It is not even the case that domestic, domestic stock markets. Sir? Sir, sir, I'm only talking about economy, sir. Nothing else is talking. <laughs> stock market loved Modi's tenure more. The BSC census grew 13.4% annually during UPA versus 8.2% under NTA. Sir, the job market is depressing, sir especially for the youth. The Center for Monitoring Indian Economy notes that the unemployment rate in the age group 20, 24 years, <coughs> the crucial period was 44.5%. 44.5% of the age between 20 and 24 youths are unemployed, sir. In the October 
December 2023 status. For the age group of 25, 29 years, it was 14 months high of 14.33 percentage. Sir, this is the situation this country is facing. Then you are bringing this white paper to abuse UPA period. Where can I ask a question to? On, I am concluding, sir. 2004 to 14, we have been right to education. We have brought right to employment. We have brought right to information. We have to, bought right to food. Our security. There, we, can Nirmala ji enlighten us? Which is the flagship <coughs> program of Narendra Modi government like a mandrega in this country? Which is a game changer. You, our Prime Minister told about <coughs> the, that this, this can be, keep it as a memory. Then he changed later. Sir, the UPA period, 2004 to 14 was actually game changer like this. Mandrega, right to information, right to food, everything. You want to take it as a period. Then you are talking about the corruption. Somebody is talking about the corruption. If you are very much sincere to the corruption, why are you scared about the CAG report of your government, sir? Yes. That, that revealing the clear corruption in the government. Yes. This government, that you are talking about the CAG report of UPA government and you are telling that your government is corrupt. And this CAG report. This CAG report, you don't want to reveal that CAG report. This is actually, I'm, I am concluding, sir, this is actually not a white paper. This is a paper which is hiding entire dark truth of this country. These, these people, these people are ruining the country. Our youth are completely disappointed. Farmers are disappointed. They are, that is why they are marching every day to parliament. They are in a very distressed situation. Sir, everybody is unhappy with government. They have to want to divert and there the situation of this country. They want to divert unemployment situation of this country. They want to divert price rise situation of this country. They want to divert and there the situation through some other way. Therefore, that's why Thank that's you. why the white paper is going to be Thank you, Mr. Actually, actually is going to be a total defensive for the government. That's sir. Thank you very much.